Yo, what's up guys, Sitchi Kongolin here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to win your first grand challenge in Clash Royale. I'm gonna give you guys a full walkthrough from zero wins to 12 wins with this Lava Mining deck. You can also use any other deck, in my opinion, what I always try to like suggest to people whenever they ask me, yo search what deck should I use to win a grand challenge. In the end of the day, it's very important to play whatever your deck really confident with, whatever you yeah, like playing, but also good with. Of course, if I play, for example, in this case, Lava Miner, and you have never touched Lava in your life, then maybe it's better to play with the deck you've always been using, which might be, for example, a Lockbait, which might be a Giant deck, Royal Giant, Miner, Expo, whatever deck you're really confident with, Try to also use it in a classic challenge, in a grand challenge, which is very important. But if you guys are looking for a deck which is really easy to play and at the same time really strong, I'm definitely gonna yeah, suggest you guys this Lava Hound deck. Actually made a video on it the other day as well on this channel and it's really fun and it's just really good in general. Okay, I'm gonna go Void Spell like this. Let's see if we can take care of the Magic Archer here. And then afterwards, I'm gonna try to get a Miner. To thank for the Lava Pops, Miner in this deck is specifically used as a tank whenever dagger dash is out of ammo but also whenever the lava hound is about to pop in this case as you guys can see the lava pops will end up dying to the bomb tower but still a pretty good miner good amount of chip damage and then here we can just cycle the zap to start cycling towards our evolution zap okay he's running remy deck the original version with the bomb tower with the miner um yeah pretty og deck actually from him and then here we can just set up another lava hound i'm pretty sure he doesn't have any Okay, let's see what he's gonna do if not i'm just gonna go okay i'm just gonna wait a little bit then i'm gonna go barbs here amazing barbs that's gonna be quite a lot of value because it took care of the mighty miner he spent five licks on that with the ability yeah included and then here we can just go with skeleton dragons to support the lab out and then wherever he drops his uh, magic archer we can void spell void spell is amazing against the magic archer i believe it one shots it if i'm not wrong so yeah as you guys can see it just directly destroys the magic archer magic archer is gone and then it's yeah his tower is soon gone as well as you guys can see the lava pops plus the lava hound will be able to easily or the lava hound plus the skeleton dragons excuse me will be able to easily take care of his left side tower okay let's go miner here to tank let's see what he's gonna drop looks like he goes with his goblin gang just gonna wait and see um yeah if he's gonna go like mighty mine or something might have to use our night witch here Okay, let's wait a little bit. I think I'm gonna... Um, I'm just gonna ignore the Miner plus Wallbreakers to win us. It is gonna be quite a bit of damage, but honestly, we're playing a beatdown deck. Don't really care about taking that amount of damage. What I do care about is just making a big push um, and take his uh, right side tower. Okay, what is he gonna do? Are you gonna Lava Hound the... Or are, are you gonna... Not Lava Hound. Are you gonna Nado the Lava Hound here? I was expecting that play. Not a bad play, but in the same time, how are you gonna defend now? Like, it's it's gonna be impossible for you to defend. I don't know how he's gonna defend it, but I don't think there's a way um, yeah, for him to defend this push, guys. Look at all the troops we're gonna have on the field soon. This should even be a trick on, if I'm not wrong. Let's go with Evil Barbs, let's go with Night Witch. How are you gonna defend this, my friend? I don't think you will be able to, to be honest. Okay, let's go Miner here. Let's see what he's gonna drop. Probably gonna try and get a mi uh, Magic Archer down. But look at all the troops. This deck is just, yeah, as I said before, really strong, really easy to use. So that's gonna be the first three crown of today's video. And I wouldn't be surprised if in today's video we get quite a lot of three crowns because this deck is really, really strong. So see you guys soon with game number two. Okay, let's go, guys. Hope we get to game number two. So also a little bit about, yeah, the Grand Challenge in general. Um, in general, like in my opinion, as I said before, it's really important to play with your best deck. Of course, if your deck is not really good in the current meta, maybe it's not the best idea to, for example, well, Lockbait in the current meta is actually great, but let's say a deck which is not really that strong. I don't really know a deck like right now, an example, but let's say you've always been playing with a deck, but it's not really strong in the meta. It's also very important to look at the meta. Like if you're, for example, a pretty good player with, I don't know, let's say Royal Giant, then you're pretty good with a Giant as well, which is super strong right now. So it just... Kind of look at the meta and try to, um, I would say, like, adapt on the meta based on the cards which are, uh, yeah, pro players using, the leaderboards, and just in general some videos and stuff like that as well. Okay, looks like we're up against the Goblin Drill um, Psycho deck. I'm just gonna go Skate Jacks here, let it be, and afterwards we should be able to get a lot of damage here with the Lava Hound plus Night Witch. We are gonna lose the tower, almost lose the tower. I think lose the tower, yeah, fully lose the tower, but then I think we should also be able to take his tower here. Let's see though, let's go Miner towards the Little Prince. I don't know if he's able to get the... Um, okay, he does go with Goblins, let's go with a Zep here. And hopefully we can take down the Little Prince and also take down the Tower. In the meantime, the Skeleton Dragons on the right side also get quite a lot of damage. So we actually ended up losing the Tower. But as you guys can see, we ended up winning the trade. Why? Because look at his uh, right side Tower as well. And our left side Tower is untouched. So even if they pressure a lot, don't really over... How do you say? Like over defend. In this case, I just went with Skeleton Dragons. Making sure that we don't end up um, get getting 3 count or he pressures a lot for a 3 count. In this case, afterwards you can just yeah focus on your push and probably take the tower unless he has like a really good defense. 
but I would say after spending Bomber, Knight, Drill, he spent a lot of Elixir, he's obviously not gonna have that much Elixir to um, get defense. So I don't know what he's doing there, he just went mini pack in the middle into a fully um, yeah, charged Dagger Dash Tower, plus the King Tower there as well helping. So I think this is gonna be, I don't wanna call early good game, but this is definitely not looking good for him. Okay, how are you gonna deal with the Lava Hound? How are you gonna deal with the Barbarians? Look at the Barbarians, my friend. Look at the Barbarians, those little fellers or big fellers, how do you want to call it? You don't want to ignore them. Oh my god, look at the Barbarians. Okay, that's gonna be three count, there you go. Another nice and easy W. I already told you guys, I don't think we're gonna um, get do little three counts in today's video, or how do you say, like a small amount of three counts in today's video. I think we're gonna get quite a lot of three counts. So, so far already, uh, yeah, two three crowns. See you guys soon with game number three. Okay, let's go guys. So, so far, so good. I'm telling you guys, this Lava Hound deck is really strong, really easy to use. But if you guys are looking for another deck, also make sure to ask me in the comment section down below. Usually, I do end up reading the comments and I always love to, yeah, respond to your questions, respond to your support, your feedback in general. I always appreciate everyone commenting under the videos. Okay, let's see what this guy's gonna be running. Knight plus a Bomber could potentially be a giant deck. Okay, I'm gonna go Zep here to retarget it onto the Miner. The Barbarians plus the Miner will be able to maybe get some damage. Or in this case, we force out quite a lot of Elixir, the uh, Little Prince, plus the Guardian as well. Or the ability. Okay, let's go Night Witch towards the um, right side. He does go with a Giant here. We can cycle towards our Barbarians after spending one card. So let's go with Mega Man, and then I'm gonna go Barbarians here. We should be able to get a good counter push going. He is gonna go with Arrows, but I think if we go with Miner towards the right side, they should be able to get quite a lot of damage, because the Dagger Dash is out of ammo, and then of course the Night Witch is gonna spam some bets. So let's see if we can get good, some good damage there with the Miner plus the bets. In the meantime, we force out the Knight, and I think, I don't know if we should go... I'm gonna go Skeleton Dragons, why not? Look at his Elixir, look at his Dagger Dashes. Well, I can see his Elixir, but knowing that he just spent the night, I know that he's not gonna have much Elixir. He might go with like a late Little Prince or something, but I think that should be Tower Down even if he does it. Okay, he does go with a Phoenix, but that's really good for us. We force out another air counter, the Phoenix is not gonna get anything done, and then afterwards we can just focus on another push with the um, yeah, Lava Hound here. I'm not sure if I should go Lava Hound already, I think I can. If he goes Giant, I think we should be able to defend it with a Night Witch. If he doesn't, I'm just gonna focus on my push supporting the Lava with like a Mega Man, prepare my Void Spell against his Little Prince, and he's out of cycle with the Phoenix right now, so his only air counter right now in cycle is indeed gonna be the Little Prince. Okay, let's have the Void Spell ready somewhere here, not sure if he's gonna drop it, where, yeah, exactly, there you go, let's go Void Spell right away, already had it ready, and it's gonna instantly delete it, so even if he tries to protect it, oh my god, he just gave us so much value with the Void Spell. Yeah, the Void Spell, oh my god, that was amazing, guys. The Void Spell plus the Zap just got so much value, and that's gonna be game. I mean, not gonna be game over yet. I don't wanna go, yeah, good game too early, but that's definitely um, an amazing trade for us. Okay, I'm actually just gonna go Lava Hunt here in the pocket to try and tank for all the troops we have. Lava Hunt is still a little bit healthy. We have a Skeleton Dragon there. We have the Night Witch there. The troops did end up dying, but still a really good situation, and now we just need to focus on the last 35 seconds of the match here. Okay, we forced out a lot of elixir defensively, so that's always amazing. Let's go Night Witch towards the left side, and then I have the, bo uh, the Barbarians here on the right side. Okay, if he goes with a Zep, or if he goes with a Bomber, we have the Zep available. I don't think we need to. Yeah, Barbarians are really strong. Nice, amazing. Okay, we don't need to yeah, overspend on defense. We can just cycle Skeleton Dragons, and at this point, we don't even need to Lava Hound. We can just, yeah, wait. Probably gonna try and cycle another Giant somewhere. We can try to cycle towards our Barbarians, but anyways... There's not really much time for him to, to get stuff done. And even if he cycles a giant, we have the Barbarians available. We have a really solid defense with this deck. So that's going to be another W. This time not a 3 count, but still a pretty nice um, yeah, match. Hopefully you guys are enjoying today's video so far. See you guys soon with the next match. Let's go, guys. Hoping you get to game number four. Looks so up against a guy called Ben. Let's give him a good luck and let's see what he's going to be running. So usually whenever they cycle a card, like for example now he cycles Knight. Knowing that we have Dagger Dashes, looking at our starting hand whenever you, for example, have Barbarians, Night Witch, Mega Man, most of the times, if they try to punish you, you will be able to get a pretty, um, yeah, defense, pretty good defense going. Okay, I'm actually gonna go, not sure if I should Void Spell the Tesla, okay, I'm just gonna let this be, actually, he just spent so much Elixir, he went Little Prince, Poison, Tesla, he spent a lot of Elixir there, I mean, it's, yeah, good defense, but at the same time, I don't think he had to spend that much Elixir, so I was thinking about going Void Spell, um, either on the Little Prince or on top of the Tesla, but in this case, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna let this be, but honestly, he just spent so much Elixir, I don't think we really need to, yeah, go with the Void Spell anywhere. Okay, let's go Miner here towards the Princess, let's see what he's gonna drop, is he gonna go Goblins, looks like he's not, 
And then here I'm just gonna go Barb's right side. Why do I go Barb's right side? I know that he doesn't have that much elixir just because of how much elixir he spent on the first push. And then also just to create some pressure on double um, on both the lanes. In this case, we have the Night Witch left side with the Miner. And then the Barbarians on the right side will be able to get a ton of damage. Maybe even be towered down. Oh my god, they're gonna take the tower. So as you guys can see, always try to kind of focus on the elixir trades. We spent Lava Hound when he spent Night. So just to kind of explain the situation. Okay, we do need to be careful because he might take the tower here as well. Um, okay, let's go Night Witch here. Let's go Mega Man. He does have Lockbait, which is not the easiest matchup because we don't have a really good spell against it. But we should be fine. And these troops afterwards are gonna yeah, act as a counter push as well. Okay, I'm gonna go Miner towards the Princess here. He doesn't... Oh, he does have the Goblin Cycle, actually. Um, is he gonna Goblin? No, looks like he's not. Looks like he just goes with the Little Prince. We can go with Void Spell here, take care of the Little Prince right away, and that's gonna be a good game. So basically, to explain you guys my thought process... Um, he see, like, I see a knight. This is, of course, three elixir. I go with Lava Hound, which is seven elixir. So that's already, like, a pretty good Lava Hound for us. Because, of course, the knight afterwards is not really gonna get anything done. Like, honestly, that knight didn't do anything with the dagger dashes. At most, it maybe get, like, one shot. So that's already a four elixir Lava Hound, if you kind of see it that way. Then afterwards, he goes with Little Prince, which is three elixir. Tesla, which is four elixir. Poison, which is four elixir. He just spent, yeah, like, he just way too, spent way too much elixir on defense. Knowing that he spent so much elixir on defense, you're obviously gonna have more elixir than your opponent. And afterwards, you can just take advantage by yeah, either pressuring in the same lane. Probably if I went with the Barbarians in the same lane of the Night Witch, it was also pretty good. But I think he might have um, yeah, been able to get a lot of value from like the splash damage of the Princess. So that's why exactly I went with Miner plus Night Witch left side, Barbarians right side. And afterwards, it's just kind of, yeah, from there, easy um, to continue damaging him or also to continue forcing more elixir. Okay, let's go with a um, double lane push here, guys. Let's go with Lava. Let's then go with Barbarians towards the right side. And look at this, guys. He just spent Barbarians. He just spent all oh, unfortunate. I wanted to go Miner to tank for a potential... Well, in this case, not a Bomber. Just to tank for the, um, the Dagger Dashes. I was not expecting a Bomber, to be honest. But that's exactly what I was talking about as well. Like, he just spent... Um, okay, he does go with Joe. He just spent Barbarians plus a Poison. How much Elixir is he gonna have for the Barbarians? In this case, the Bomber was actually a really good option for him. Bomber, only two Elixir, is a great card against the Barbarians. We still got a good amount of damage. But if he didn't have the Bomber in cycle, that was probably gonna be another tower down just thanks to the Barbarians. Very important always, not only with this Lava Hound deck, just in general while playing Clash Royale. Look at the Elixir trades. Look at how much Elixir you're investing. Look at how much Elixir he's spending. Just in general, try to yeah, kind of be... How do you say? Um, aware of the situation, I think I'm, I'm trying to say. Okay, let's go Mega Man here. What is his deck, by the way? Okay, this guy is running a crazy deck that's actually going to be towered down. But I think afterwards, the counter push should also be towered down for us. Unless he yeah, can defend the Lava Hound plus Skelet Dragons plus Mega Man after spending so much Elixir there. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go Void Spell here to take care of the Princess. And then afterwards, I'm going to just yeah let this be for now. He might try to go Poison, but I think the Poison will not really be enough. And then... I. Okay, I'm actually gonna go Zap here. Just to make sure that the Little Prince afterwards is not gonna, yeah, fully take care of everything. And I'm gonna go Barbarians in the middle. I don't know if it's crazy, but I think it's a pretty decent play. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, let's see what he's gonna drop. Maybe his own Barbarians. Okay, looks like he goes with Bomber. Those Barbarians on the right side are actually gonna get a good amount of damage. Perfect. And then we need to prepare our Skeleton Dragons for potential Royal Hawks or maybe even Barbarians from him. Um, okay, looks like he doesn't. I'm just gonna go lava at the bridge here to win us with the Night Witch. And then whatever he drops, we have Skeleton Dragons. Nice. Night Witch is gonna get more value. Those Royal Hawks were not the best, to be honest. And then here we can go with Mega Me and we can go with Miner. And we can even get a Void Spell going. Nice, amazing Void Spell there. Okay, perfect. And that's gonna be a good game. Okay, nice. So that's gonna be, I think, another 3 crown unless he yeah, is able to defend this one. But I don't think so, to be honest. Let's see how he defends it. But I think it should be another 3 crown. So hopefully you guys are kind of understanding more my thought process, the way of playing, and then also this Lava Miner deck. I'm already telling you guys this deck is not hard. What I'm doing in these matches, you guys can also do it at home. Or if you guys want to play a Grand Challenge uh, with another deck, hopefully at least my thought process about like the um, Elixir investments, like the Elixir trades and, and all those stuff can help you guys for future matches and future challenges. Okay, 5-0 so far. Let's see what we can get going. So far doing really good. I don't want to jinx myself, but yeah, so far the matches has been pretty easy to be honest. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do kind of an awkward cycle here don't really want to cycle yeah anything because yeah the dagger dice is just so strong don't really want to go with a miner to the tower because the miner is just gonna get destroyed so in this case kind of just wait and see what your opponent drops in this case he goes uh, little prince we can go with void spell and i'm just gonna wait and see um yeah what he's running but this is looking like a like a giant deck to me i'm sorry 
Okay, looks like he does have the Phoenix, he has Knight, he has the Little Prince. Probably gonna miss like um, either Void Spell, Lightning, and then Arrows. Pretty typical giant deck, I think. Okay, let's see. Oh, looks like he has Firecracker. Okay, Firecracker is actually really annoying for us. Normally, people don't really play Firecracker in... Um... Okay, let's go Zap here. Normally, people don't really play Firecracker in Giant. So, Firecracker is going to be really annoying for us. Why? We don't have arrows. We only have Void Spell. But the Void Spell, of course, is going to be um, yeah, also useful against the Little Prince and also against his Phoenix. So, this is actually looking really bad, guys. I think this is probably... Okay, right as I talk, right as I say, like, these are pretty easy matches. We end up facing a giant deck with Little Prince, with Phoenix, with a lot of air counters. So this is actually looking really, really bad. Um, this might be the first W, or not the W, the first L, the first loss of today's video. Okay, let's focus up though. I definitely think we should be able to still win it, but this is not looking good. He has Phoenix, he has um, Firecracker, he has Little Prince. Of course, the giant is also pretty annoying for us. Let's see what he does if we go Lava Hound, same lane. If he goes Giant, same lane, we have Barbarians. Okay, we have Barbarians available. I mean, Barbarians here are going to do a great job, to be honest. We are going to take maybe one or two shots, but even not much damage, I think. Maybe not even two shots. Only one, I think. Yeah, only one shot. And then now we can prepare the Void Spell. Okay, let's go. Let's first go with Mega Megamine here. And then I'm going to prepare my Void Spell as well. Okay, nice. Let's go with Zep here. Let's see if we can take care of the Little Prince. Nice, amazing Zep. And I think that might be Tower Down. Or is it not going to be Tower Down? I think it should be, right? Is he going to, like, Firecracker somewhere there? What is he going to do? Okay, looks like he goes Knight. Let's go with Miner here, and let's then go with Void Spell here to take care of the Firecracker. Nice, let's go Skelly Jacks as well. Nice, amazing Void Spell, and that should be Tower Down. So, okay, perfect. Yeah, as you guys can see, this Lava Hunt deck is just insanely broken, even if they have Phoenix, even if they have Firecracker, even if they have Little Prince, all the air counters he has, it's still really hard to defend these Lava Pushes. And then also, we have a really solid defense. I think his Giant definitely was a big mistake. If he didn't go Giant this aggressive and he just focused on defense, and then afterward get, like, a really big counter push, with the Little Prince, with the Phoenix, it definitely would have been way harder for us. But I think we did a good um, get play, kind of baiting his Giant with the Lava Hound. I feel like many people, whenever they see a big Elixir investment, like a Lava Hound, like a Golem, they kind of yeah go aggressive without really thinking about the cycle, without really thinking, okay, if I go Giant here, what is he going to have in cycle? In this case, we had Evolved Barbarians. Of course, the Giant was not good at all. And afterwards, the counter push with the Lava Hound plus the Barbarians just ended up destroying him. 6-0 in the Grand Chain so far. We're already halfway to the 12 wins. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, perfect. Right as I say it, already found it. So it looks like this guy was waiting for us. Okay, what are you gonna be running, my friend? Let's give him a good luck and let's see what he's gonna start. If not, I'm just gonna go Lava Hound. I feel like Lava Hound, whenever, as I said before, you have Barbarians, you have Night Witch, you have Mega Megamian. It's probably a pretty good play. So, perfect. Right as he goes Knight, we go Lava Hound, same lane, which is awesome. If he decides to make a big push with, like, a Giant, we have Barbarians. If he decides to just focus on defense, we can um, probably get value from our Void Spell or something. Let's see what happens. I think it's always important with these type of decks to kind of play reactive. Okay, let's go with the Night Witch here. He goes with his Giant. We have Barbarians, and this is already a pretty good situation for us. His Void Spell is going to get quite a lot of value, but I think it still should be, yeah, a good situation for us. And the Barbarians on the right side, how is he going to deal with it? Oh, he has a Wizard. Okay. Okay, so Wizard is actually really good against our deck. We do have Void Spell, so Void Spell is a great card against the Wizard. But in that specific situation, Wizard was definitely a really nice answer against the Barbarians, so well played by him. Okay, he does go with his Knight. I think I'm actually going to go Void Spell here defensively. Void Spell will also afterwards be able to kill with the, um, deal with the Wizard. We are going to take quite a bit of damage, but I think that was the best play we probably could have done. And he has a Balloon. What? Wait, he has Giant Balloon with Wizard Night Witch. Interesting deck by him. Okay, definitely not uh, yeah, something I was expecting, to be honest. Okay, what should we do? I think we should play opposite lane. If he goes Giant, we have the Barbarians uh, available again. Very important to always kind of think about the um, yeah, potential future plays. Of your opponent in this case knowing that he might go with his um with his giant we of course need to have the barbarians ready i'm not gonna go with lava hound there if my cycle is for example minor uh zap and maybe yeah maybe like a mega mean or something okay let's go skeleton dragons here to protect our night witch that's gonna be great and then afterwards i think i'm gonna um there you go let's go with void spell okay i think this might be don't want to say tower down because he might be able to defend it if he has like arrows or something but if he doesn't have arrows that's gonna be a lot of damage okay looks like he has zap I'm actually gonna go mining here to thank for all the lava puffs, to thank for the skeleton dragons, and I think that should be a lot of damage. Okay, let's go Zap here as well. Miner plus the skeleton dragon are still going crazy. He needs to go with Nightwish defensively, he needs to go with a void defensively. Definitely not something he wanted to do there. 
Okay, should we go Lava Hunt aggressive? Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit. He's gonna go... Um, is he gonna go Wizard or something like Prediction? Oh, looks like he just goes with his Balloon. Okay, this is definitely not good for him. Um, I think that might actually be already game for us, to be honest. How are you gonna deal with all the troops coming at you right now? Balloon is able to get one shot. But then again, we have the Lava Hound, we have the Skeleton Dragons. He does go um, yeah, kind of crazy with the Wizard. But I think here with the Miner plus the Void Spot plus the Zep, we'll be able to deal with that. And then Lava Hound is still full HP. It's gonna um, yeah, get the damage we need to get against the left side tower to take it down. Okay, let's prepare the Barbarians. He might go with like a Giant plus uh, Balloon push. Anyways, there's not much time. But even if he went with a Giant Balloon, we have like Barbarians, we have Mega Moon, we have Skeleton Dragons. This deck is super, super solid on defense as well. While also having an yeah, amazing attack. As you guys can see already, 7-0 in the Grand Challenge. In my opinion, it has gone um, yeah, quite fast. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, perfect. Right as I say so, so it looks like everyone is just yeah, waiting for us. Everyone is ready to, to battle, so that's perfect for me. So far, we're doing really, really good. So let's hopefully just, yeah, run through this Grand Challenge. That will be amazing. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the Miner. I think I'm just gonna go Lava Hound. So kind of, how do you say, like, if you guys notice, I kind of have a pattern when to go Lava Hound. In this case, he goes Miner, 3 Elixir. Miner doesn't do that much damage against the Dagger Dashes, and it kind of allows us to put a Lava Hound of 4 Elixir. Like, of course, it's not a Lava Hound of 4 Elixir, but I think you guys understand the point I'm trying to make, right? Okay, looks like he has uh, Mother Witch. Let's go with a Miner here towards the Mother Witch. And then, okay, I'm gonna go Barbarian's right side. So that's a play I like to make a lot because most of the times people spend a lot of Elixir in these situations against... Can we go Void Spell here? Okay, I think this Void Spell should be pretty good to be honest. Nice, amazing Void Spell. And those Barbarians are gonna get a lot of damage. He needs to go Knight. That's another 3 Elixir spent there. Which afterwards, we don't really need to worry about too much because we have the Dagger Dashes. Like, I feel like Dagger Dashes are just insanely strong. Um, in some situations, when you know that your opponent is gonna spend some extra elixir, that's also why recently Princess has been played quite a lot, because you can go with something at the bridge, you can make an aggressive play, force out more elixir, and then afterwards you just know that the Dagger Dashes is probably gonna trade it. Like, for example, that night, if we were running um, Princess Tower a long time ago, we probably had to defend it because it would have yeah, gotten a lot of damage. In this case, Dagger Dashes, you don't need to overspend on, on defense, you don't need to spend anything at all, to be honest, in this case. Okay, let's go Night Witch here, looks like he goes Guards. I'm um, probably gonna go with his Mother Witch sometime soon again. There you go, there's the Mother Witch. Let's go with Miner like this. And then, should we just make the same play? Yeah, I'm just gonna make the same play, honestly. Like, why not? It worked out really well in the first push. And this time, we're even doing it with the Evolved Barbarian. So, that's even gonna be better for us. Okay, let's see. Let's go with e um, yeah, the Evolved Barbarians on the left side. Looks like he does go with his Guards. Looks like he does go with a Knight. But anyway, still a really, really good situation for us. Okay, I'm gonna go Zep on the left side, making sure that the Barbarian can kill the Miner and hopefully get... Ooh, I want to say hopefully get one shot. Looks like it unfortunately doesn't get any damage, but still really good situation. And he has a Mortar. Okay. Should I go Void Spell or... Yeah, I think I should definitely go Void Spell. I'm just gonna wait a little, wait a little bit, make sure that we can go Void Spell now. Okay, perfect. Let's go Void Spell here. And then I'm gonna go Mega Minion plus Barbarians as well. Okay, nice. That's gonna be a pretty good defense. He goes Knight. Oh my god, that was a really bad Knight because of course... Uh, yeah, we have the Barbarians, we have the Mega Minion... That knight is not gonna go anywhere. Mortar did get quite a lot of damage, but still very, very good situation. And I think this should be good game to win us. Let's go with uh, Night Witch in the middle to distract the mortar. In the meantime, I'm gonna go with a um, Void spell, and that should be, I think, good game. Only 20 seconds left. I don't really see how he's gonna take our tower. He does have Miner, he does have a lot of pressure cards, but we have a really solid defense. Like, we can just go Barbarians. I think even going Barbarians already here, plus a Sep, should be able to defend this pretty easily. He is gonna go with ability, but the Barbarians are still gonna get quite a lot of value. We can go with Skeleton Dragons, and as you guys can see, very nice and easy defense, and so far, very nice matches. I mean, as you guys can see, I think I'm making it look um, easy, but actually this deck is really easy to use. I don't want to jinx myself because, of course, the further you go in the Grand Challenge, the harder it gets. But so far, really nice matches. 8-0 right now. Looks like the next opponent, again, is waiting for us already. Okay, perfect, guys. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys are having a lot of fun as well. By the way, thank you guys so much for all the support recently on the channel. Lots of support, lots of comments, lots of new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the subscribers. Let's try to get to that 40k soon. Okay, looks like he has Ram Rider. Okay, Ram Rider does connect against the Dagger Dashes, so I'm gonna go with a late zap, making sure that it doesn't take too much damage, and then here I'm just gonna go with Skeleton Dragons. Okay, so Little Prince plus Ram Rider could be maybe a Mega Knight deck, could be a potential P.E.K.K.A deck, could be... I don't really know what it could be, but it could be a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go with Void Spell here to take care of the Baby Dragon, then I'm gonna go Miner to tank for all the Lava Pops, and it should already be a decent amount of damage, I think. Okay, he does cycle back to Little Prince, so the Little Prince is able to, yeah, get quite a lot of value there on defense. But it's still gonna go down, I think. 
Yeah, it still goes down. Okay, perfect. Really good trade there. That's a pretty, yeah, good situation for us, I think. And I think he has Pekka. I'm not completely sure, but if I would have to guess, I think this is going to be Pekka. Okay, let's go with another Lava Hound towards the left side. We can maybe prepare our Barbarians in case we need to. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the Rembrandt damage and then go with Barbarians afterwards. I think that's our best play here. Because I feel like if I went with Zep, it probably would have been um, still able to get a lot of damage. And the Barbarians here are going to force out something on, a, on defense, I think. Um, or if not, it's going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, exactly. So we force out the Knight. That's awesome. We can go with the Mega Minher to support the Lava Hound. Then I'm going to prepare my Void Spell somewhere over here for a potential Baby Dragon, for a potential Little Prince. Perfect. Let's go with that. And then I'm also going to go with Zep here. Okay, let's go with Zep now. And then please tell me no. Oh my god, that was so close to killing the Little Prince. I'm actually going to go Miner here. I think this is going to be a great Miner because it's going to tank. Um, yeah, for the Lava Pops, we'll also make sure that we end up killing the Little Prince. If not, the Little Prince with 1 HP would have been able to get a lot of um, value. Okay, so um, I think he has P.E.K.K.A. I'm not sure, but I think he does have P.E.K.K.A. He didn't show it yet, of course. It might also be like a Mega Knight deck or something. I'm going to go Night Witch first, guys. Why? Because he might exactly. That was exactly why I didn't go with our um, Lava Hound yet. A lot of people, whenever you hit Double Elixir, they expect you to go with your Golem. They expect you to go with your Lava Hound. They expect you to go in with your yeah, Heavy Tank. In this case, it's sometimes good to not go right away and afterwards just prepare your um, your pushes. Okay, let's go like this. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go Evil Zep here towards the tower and also hit the Little Prince. Okay, I think that might be tower down from him. I'm not sure if we can defend this with the Barbarians, but we should also take our... like his left side tower. Okay, that's not tower down for him. It is gonna be tower down for us, so that's awesome. And here I'm just gonna keep under pressure knowing that he still needs to take our tower. He might have a big spell like lightning or something, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. And then while we keep under pressure, we're not allowing him to go in. So as you guys can see, we're just spamming at the bridge right now. Night Witch, Skeleton Dragons. The only goal of this push is basically to force out a lot of elixir defensively, making sure that he cannot go offensively, but at the same time, while pressuring, we also almost already took his right side tower. So even if he ended up taking our right side tower, that would have been good game for us. Why? Because his right side tower was already so low where we can just cycle Void Spell, Zap, Miner, whatever, to take it down. So, so far, really good, guys. 9-0 right now. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, let's go, guys. Look at what we found the next match. Let's give him a good luck, and let's see what he's going to be running. So far, we're doing really, really good. Hopefully, I can keep it up. Only need three more Ws, so it, will be, it would be amazing if we can get the um, yeah, 12 0 in today's video. Okay, I'm going to go Void Spell here. I think I'm also going to go Zap just to make sure the Mortar doesn't get too much damage. Not sure if it gets... Okay, it does get another shot. That's unfortunate. I thought that maybe with the Zap... Was not going to get another shot. Anyways, let's go with a Mega Man here as well. And then Mortar Miner Knight. Okay, could be maybe like a Mortar Miner Poison. Could be a lot of things. I think I'm actually going to go Lava Hunt here at the bridge. It is a little bit aggressive. But I think at the same time, it should be quite annoying for him to deal with this push. And then here we can go with a Miner as well. Okay, I think I'm going to go... Wait, let's go Void Spell here. Because the Miner is going to take care of the Little Prince. Void Spell is going to take care of the Phoenix. And then he needs to go with a Poison or something to take care of everything. While the Miner is still going to be yeah, chipping away his left side tower. Okay, so interesting matchup here. He does have the Phoenix, he does have Little Prince, he has Poison. I would say that he has good defenses against Lava Hound, but at the same time, we have a lot of responses against whatever troop they run. Like, we have Voice Spell, we have Miner, we have Zep. That's the thing I like about this deck, is that you can most of the times um, kind of react, be reactive on whatever answer, whatever troop they have against your deck. Okay, I'm gonna let the Mortar look, then I'm gonna go with Barbarians at the bridge. Remember that we're playing a beatdown deck, you don't need to over-defend always. Sometimes it's okay to yeah, take some damage. In this case, even if the Mortar gets so much damage on tower, I think afterwards we should be able to take down his tower as well with the Lava Hound or even get a lot of damage. So let's go with the um, yeah, Lava Hound towards the left side. Let's see what he's going to drop. Looks like he does go with a Miner. Looks like he does go with his Knight. I'm just going to go Mega Me in here. It is going to get a decent amount of damage, but I think we should be fine. And I'm just going to go with Skeleton Dragons here. Okay, good amount of pressure for him. He is playing this pretty well so far. I'm not going to lie, actually. That Mortar was really good. But I think we still should be fine. And hopefully we can get good damage going on both lanes. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, that was a really good defense by him. Lava on the left side should be able to get a lot of damage. So that's good for us. And then here we can go with a Night Witch as well. Okay, can he defend this? He does go with a Poison. He's probably going to go Phoenix. He's probably going to go Ability right side. Or is he not going to go Ability? Okay, let's see. Let's go with another hound, uh, Lava Hound towards the left side. And then we still need to take down his tower, but he also still needs to take down our tower. So that's good for us. He might go with like a Miner towards the left side, trying to chip it down. Yeah, there you go. Let's go with Mega Me and let's see if we can protect our tower. That would be amazing. Um, okay, let's see, guys. Are we still able to get the W here? Let's go with Zep like this. Nice, good Zep. Let's go with Miner. 
Let's go with Skeleton Dragons here on defense, and I'm gonna go Void Spell. Okay, I think that's gonna be towered down. Well, let's force out the a poison here with the um, with the Mega Man. Perfect. He's gonna poison exactly. He needs to poison the tower. Let's go with barbarians here in the middle, and then hopefully we can yes yeah, somehow get a lot of damage here. Okay, let's go minor like this. Let's then go with Zep here to reset the little prince. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that he took the tower. Wait, what happened? Ah, I think it's because of the poison nerf. Wait, how much damage does the poison do? Okay, I'm I'm really confused right now, guys. I actually thought that was gonna be tower for sure. And then I all of a sudden see that he didn't take our tower. Our left side tower was at 6 HP. Wait, what just happened? Okay, I'm, I'm actually, how do you say, speechless right now. I, I'm so shocked because I thought it was going to be tower 100% sure. And then all of a sudden I see that our left side tower has, um, what's it called? 6 HP. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to go zap here. The bat is actually going to get one shot because of the zap. And then I think I'm going to go Lava Hound same lane. If he has Goblin Braille, he might go Goblin Braille here. But we have Mega Me and we can take a bit of damage. We should be fine afterwards. If he goes Goblin Braille here, we can just Mega Me and take a bit of damage. And afterwards we have a nice counter push. Okay, I'm going to go Mega Me instead. And then does he have poison? What is he going to have to, to deal with all of these troops? Okay, looks like he goes Princess. I'm going to go Miner like this. And I don't think we even need to Void Spell in this situation. I think I'm just gonna... Or should I Void Spell the Little Prince? I think I'm just gonna let it be to win us. I don't think we need to overspend here. Yeah, we, did, we I think that was a good decision. Um, and then I'm just gonna wait and probably cycle Barbarians in the back. Okay, let's go Barbarians here to start cycling towards the Evolve bar, uh, Evolve Barbarians. And afterwards, just see whatever he drops. If he goes Princess, we have Void Spell. Um, I think I'm not gonna go Void Spell already. I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit. See what he drops. I think the Barbarians might be able to deal with the Princess. If he doesn't drop anything, he goes with uh, Skeletons. But we have the Zap available, so that's an amazing yeah, opportunity to go with the Zap, killing the Princess, and at the same time dealing with his Evolve Skeletons. And then here, whatever he drops, we have Mega Man. We have the Night Witch to support the Lava Hound. I'm not sure if he's going to be running Poison. I don't think he showed a spell yet, so it might be Rocket. But I think most of the people nowadays run these type of Lockbait decks with the Poison. Okay, he does have the Evolve Tesla. I think we can go... Yeah, okay, let's go with Void Spell like this. And then I'm just gonna go... Should I go Minor towards the Princess? Not really sure, to be honest. But I think it's fine. Yeah, I think we should just leave it like that. Minor gets uh, the Princess down. And then if he goes with Barrel or something, we have Barbarians available. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Is he gonna go... Oh, he has Minor. Ah, it's Minor Poison. Okay. So I was thinking about a uh, bait. Um, yeah, Goblin Barrel. But it's actually gonna be Minor Poison. Okay, interesting, guys. That's actually... Yeah, interesting. Let's go Lava Hound here towards the left side, and then we just need to play around his cycle, because knowing that he has poison, knowing that he has a lot of um, anti-splash units, we of course don't want to go with all the troops into the same lane whenever we know that he has the poison available, whenever we know that he has um, yeah, a good cycle. So it's going to be important to get a lot of value from the Mega Minion, and then here from the Void Spell as well. Okay, let's go Miner like this, nice, Void Spell is able to get a lot of value. Um, I think I'm going to go Zep here to be nice. Nice, let's go Zep there. Mega Minion in the meantime is getting quite a lot of damage done to all the troops. And here I'm gonna go with another Lava Hunt in the back. Okay, perfect. Looking pretty good. Slowly but surely chipping down his um, his left side tower. Okay, let's go Barbarians here. Kind of an aggressive play by him. And we might be able to punish him afterwards because of that. Let's see what we can get going. Let's go with Mega Man here to support the Lava Hunt. He's gonna go with his Tesla. Let's go with our Void Spell here as well. And then I'm gonna go with a Miner towards the tower. Okay, he does get a good amount of uh, yeah, value from the Tesla, from the Princess there as well. Then I'm gonna wait and see what he does. Okay, he goes with his ability. Let's go with Skeleton Dragons here. Not sure if I should go with Barbarians. Let's go with a Zep on defense. Hopefully, yeah, that doesn't get a second shot. And then he's actually playing this really well, guys. Wait, let's go Lava onto the bridge here. Nice. Okay, let's go Void Spot to take care of the Princess. Let's then afterwards go with a Mega Man. And then I'm just gonna try and get value from the, um, the Miner. Instead of going towards the Little Prince, which is he's probably expecting, I'm actually gonna go with a Miner here towards the Tower. Exactly, he was expecting me to Miner towards the Little Prince. That's exactly why he went with the Ability. Instead, I'm just gonna go with a Miner towards the Tower, plus a Zep to retarget onto the Miner, so that the Lava Hound and the Miner gets the most amount of damage possible in that situation. Okay, he might go with his um, Princess soon. Looks like he goes with, um, what's it called, with his Knight. Let's go with Barbarians. And this match is actually pretty intense, guys. So I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much. Well, I'm talking a lot. But I'm sorry if um, whatever I'm saying doesn't make that much sense. Okay, let's go Mega Man here. Let's go with a Void Spell like this. Let's go with a Miner towards the Tower. We have the Evil Zep available as well. So let's go with Evil Zep right away. And then I'm going to go with my Skeleton Dragons at the bridge here. I just want to focus also on spending or forcing him to spend Elixir on defense. In this case, we force out the Poison defensively, which of course is really good for us as well. 
Okay, let's go minor like this. Let's go uh, with, let's go with a void spot. Let's go minor like this, and let's see what he's gonna drop. Okay, he just go with skeletons. Let's go with our step here, and then I'm just gonna go mega minion here. Okay, I think we got the W. 79 HP. I think with the void spot here should be enough. If anything, if he blocks it, we have the minor plus the step available. Really, really nice match. That was actually pretty intense. He played that really well. Good defense. Kind of rough to deal with the princess spam, Evo Tesla. Quick cycle, little prince. We, of course, do have the voice spell. We have Zep, but it's not like, um, yeah, really, really easy matchup. I think if I play that matchup against, I don't know, like a really good player, like Mohamed Light Riley or something, I think I wouldn't be able to get the W, but I think we did a good job. Also, a really nice decision to go minor towards the tower instead of going minor towards the little prince, which I think a lot of players would have done in that specific situation. So 11-0 right now. See you guys soon with hopefully the last match. Okay, let's go, guys. Look at what we found in the next match. Hopefully, this is going to be the last one because, of course, if we win it, it's going to be a 12-0. If we lose it, we are going to have to play more matches. But I'm going to try and get a 12-0. So let's go with Lava on first play. I've been doing Lava on first play quite a lot in today's video, but it has been working out quite well. So I'm not going to change it up for this one. Okay, looks like he goes Skeleton Dragons. Oh, looks like he wants to go with a um, Tower trade here. But I think this should be pretty good for us. We can go Night Witch. We can go with Skeleton Dragons afterwards to try and kill his Skeleton Dragons. And then ooh, one of the Skeleton Dragons was able to lock onto our Skeleton Dragon. But I think that still should be fine. Let's see what happens here. Okay, nice. Lava Pops on the right side are getting a good amount of damage. And then I don't know if I should go Barbarians. What should I do here? Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit. Probably going to Zep on defense first. Okay, I'm going to go Zep here against the Lava Pops. And then I'm going to go Mega Me in here as well. And then hopefully the Lava Hound will be able to take his tower. Okay, he doesn't have arrows in cycle. So the Lava Pops might be able to take tower. He does go with Skeleton Dragons. Honestly, there was quite a lot of elixir spent by him. I think what we can do, I don't know if it's going to be risky, Lava Hound left side and make a huge push on the left side, knowing that he just overspent on a Lava Hound, um, which I wasn't going to support anyways. Like that Lava Hound there was either going to take the tower or force out more elixir. In this case, it forced out more elixir. Knowing that his skeleton dragons are out of cycle, knowing that he doesn't have the um, yeah, skeleton dragons available right now, we should be able to get a lot of damage done here. Maybe even take tower, honestly. Okay, let's see what happens though. Let's go Night Witch here. Looks like he goes with his Void Spell. Let's go with Barbarians to try and protect the Night Witch. And then he might go with his Bomber, but I think we should be fine. Let's see what happens. Okay, we force out the arrows. He might go with like a Bomber. Yeah, behind the tower. But anyways, it's going to be Tower down for um, for us here. Okay, let's go Skeleton Dragons on defense. And then this is looking, I would say, really good to be honest. Like, look at his right side tower. Look at our right side tower. That Lava Hound is not going to get too much damage. We can just go with a Zep here. And then afterwards we can... I wanted to say Mega Minion, but we don't even need to Mega Minion. Look at the Zep plus Skeleton Dragons going crazy. Really nice and clean defense. And that's going to be... I don't want to call good game early, but I think looking really good right now. Okay, let's go Lava Hound here. Yeah, he's not happy about it as well. Let's go with a Night Witch afterwards, I think, towards the right side. And then at this point, we just need to make sure that we don't get three counts somehow. Because I don't think there's any other way for him to end up winning this matchup. Okay, let's go Mega Man towards the left side. Let's see what he's gonna drop. Looks like he does go with um, Inferno Dragon. Let's go Void Spell here as well. And then if he goes with, for example, his um, Skeleton Dragons or something, we can go with Evo Zep as well. Okay, let's go Barbarians. In the meantime, Skeleton Dragons plus the Mega Man are getting a lot of value. We can go with a Minor Prediction for a potential Bomber. Let's go with a Mega Man. And it's gonna be another W in today's video. What an amazing video, guys. We went from 0, -zero to 12 0 with this Lava Miner deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. If you guys did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And by the way, before I end today's video, let's quickly open up the grand challenge um, yeah, chest. So let's see what we uh, get. Hopefully we can get something. Looks like we do get a legendary, so that's amazing. Let's see what legendary. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's gonna be a magic archer. Hopefully, um, yeah, you guys enjoyed it. As I said, if you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.